hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel Amazon african motives still working on engineering science info in this platform we shall be working on the question paper which was uh, from uh, november 2019 actually uh, focusing on angular motion as an application of the formulas that we managed to have uh, so now we just need to apply those formulas and see how they can ask these questions and uh, different typical questions that you can have actually okay so if you're new guys you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having for Mason african motives okay so quickly rushing through the question on 4.1 we are given that um, calculate the rotational frequency that is in revs per minute take note guys in revs per minute of the wheels of a train if it moves at a velocity of 280 kilometers per hour not the diameter of the wheel train is 720 millimeters all right so how can we determine guys um, the rotational frequency okay we actually know that uh, let's just list it from because the information when you list the information it will be easier for you to know what you want and um how are you going to do it so we do not know this n in rest per minute okay but we're given the velocity which is the linear velocity because it's kilometers per hour that one so it's 280 kilometers per hour but we have to convert this to meters per second so what do i do i divide by 3,6 uh that will be kilometer that will be meters per second remember relationship one meter per second is equal to 3,6 kilometers per hour so you're going to multiply by a second uh, by meter per second so it will be in meters per second so this one is going to give us uh, 77 seven. yeah it will be 77 seven, 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 which is going to be 778 seven, just round off to three decimal places like that okay then you're also given the diameter in millimeters so diameter which is uh, 720 millimeters. So milli, guys, remember two meters, you divide by 1,000, which is going to give us 0 0.72 meters. All right, so that's what we have. So how can we end up with this N, which is uh, the rotational frequency? All right, um, what we can have is actually we know this relationship the velocity is equivalent to pi dn all right this is what we have guys the velocity is equal to pi dn so provided that this n here is going when this is in meters and this velocity is going to be in meters per second it means this rotational frequency is going to be in revs per second okay this is going to be in revs per second this in meters this in meters per second all right so take note what you are calculating and what you're going to obtain so we want this n so let's make n the subject just divide by what by pi d by pi d there so you're going to have v over pi d okay so which means our n is in we are going to obtain our n in revs per second okay so our v which is the velocity in meters per second this one is seven seven comma seven seven eight which is in meters per second pi times d which is the diameter in meters which is this one all right so you're going to take the diameter the in meters all right guys all right sorry for that guys uh okay just this in meters okay so which is 0 0.72 like this all right so which means we can actually obtain something here that is I obtained something like uh, three four comma three eight five four two something like that okay so you can just round off through three decimal places which is going to be thirty four comma three eight five all right which is 
remember I said our answer is going to be in reps per second so this will be in reps per second like this all right but the question is we need this answer in reps per minute take note guys our r should be in reps per minute so what are you going to do there to put this in reps per minute you're going to multiply this by 60 all right so the moment you multiply by 60 it's now in reps per minute okay so which is going to give us something like 2 0, 6, 3, comma, 1, 2, 5, 2, 7, yeah, something like that, which is now in reals per, per minute. So that means you can actually round off this to be 2, 0, 6, 3, comma, 3, this small place, which is 1, 2, 3. So it's going to be 1, 2, 5, like that, okay? So now it's in reals per minute, like this. Is it 5 there? Yes, that's gonna be this is five. Oh, this is five. So this five and this five. So this is six here. All right, take note this five. I, I took it uh, wrongly, but that is a five there. So as you can see, that was the concept of the question, and uh, it's just a normal question. Okay, then uh, on 4.2, the speed of a flywheel increases from 444 reps per minute to 2840 reps per minute in 0 0.58 minutes okay i talked about that type of equation previously but that question was in reps per second if you still remember guys we worked with this type of equation now we are given this question in reps per minute which is the part that i wanted us to actually know the difference here because this now is in reps per minute okay so from this rotational frequency this one in reps per minute we are going to obtain the angular velocity remember that that you obtain angular velocity from the speed which is the rotational frequency how do you obtain that okay it started from this one which is this is your initial angular velocity which is uh like this remember angular velocity guys angular velocity is given like this so this is the initial so it's going to be omega one like this which is equal to two pi times n so to take note guys i talked about it uh, about this that this is supposed to be in reps per second so you're supposed to multiply by reps per second here so this is in reps per minute remember how we got from reps per second to reps per minute we we multiplied so it means from reps per minute to reps per second we are going to divide by 60 the opposite of what we did here so we are going to divide by 60 so it's going to be 2 pi times the reps per minute because this one is supposed to be in reps per minute so it's going to be 144 is it 144 no it's 444 so this is 444 like this over 60 the moment you divide by 60 it's now in reps per second all right so that is the concept there so you're going to obtain 46 comma 496 something like that this is what you're going to obtain guys all right then you move on to the second one because it started from this one up to two the second one is 2000 so you do the same so it's 2 pi times 2840 there over 60 it's now in reps per second all right so this is going to give us two 97.404 yeah this is what you're going to have guys in right per, per second then another thing is the time here the time is in minutes but as you can see right per second right per second so which means your time should be in seconds so 0 0.58 minutes how do we convert minutes guys to seconds multiply because in a minute you've got 60 seconds so you multiply by 60 seconds, it's going to be 36, is it 36 or 34? This is 34, 8 seconds. All right, so that's what you're going to have. 
so guys as you can see the information is pretty clear now we can just apply this information to answer the first question which is asking us to calculate the angular acceleration of the flywheel okay so what is the angular acceleration of the flywheel so this one uh, doesn't change guys we talked about this that angular acceleration is the change in angular velocity over the time taken which is omega 2 minus omega 1 over the time taken uh, and is measured in rad per square second all right so that's what you're going to have here we just substitute because we have got these okay so let's just substitute guys this is going to be omega 2 here this one all right two nine is it two nine yeah that's two nine seven comma four zero four minus this one the first one which is this one here that's four six comma four nine six everything over the time in seconds which is this one 34 comma 8 the one that is in seconds all right so that's what you're going to have guys and um so we are going to obtain um the angular acceleration is 7,21 okay and i talked that this is gonna be in right per square second like this all right so that's how they can ask these questions guys as you can see uh, it's very very important that you understand the basics of these questions. Okay, then the number of revolutions made during this acceleration. The number of revolutions. All right. I talked about this about the number of revolutions that uh, you can simply use this formula. So that would be uh, using this formula here. Let's just see. We are going to have our number of revs here but we're just going to let's just say the displacement which is measured in radians over 2 pi like this so this displacement angular displacement over 2 pi is going to give us actually the number of revolutions so which means we have to apply these formulas now to calculate this angular um, displacement so what are we going to to do actually from the information that we have because this is the information that we are only given so if you cross check from the previous class that we had i apply this formula uh, s or me that is the best formula actually that i actually use to more to find this because mostly they will give you these values and the time will be there so i find it as a nice formula yeah, so there are so many formulas that you can actually use because you can uh, choose actually from uh, remember omega 2 squared is equivalent to omega 1 squared uh, plus or minus which is going to be minus alpha yeah remember so it's going to be plus alpha like this so you can choose so many uh, that will be alpha t here or it's just u squared all right but we just choose like uh, the one that you're going to suppose we have got something like this this is two alpha theta yeah this is two from this one v squared is equal to u squared plus two as so this is alpha theta this one uh -huh. this is two alpha theta this one there is no squared so you can choose this one but as you can see guys for me it's best to just apply this formula but there are so many ways that of uh, doing this so now let's just substitute here mm -hmm. our one here omega one omega two just substitute the values which is 46 comma 496 plus 297 comma 404 like this everything over two then actually have to multiply by the time which is in seconds this one of 30 34,8 okay so as you can see it's just now a normal use of a calculator which is gonna be 5 3,5,9 all right this is what I obtained here which is a measured in radians but this is not the answer because remember we want to use this to calculate the number of what 
the number of revolutions. So that means we are going to have this formula now, the number of revolutions, which is the graphs that we have is equivalent to, we say theta over two pi. All right, so our theta is the one that we just determined now in radians, this one, which is right as it is 5983,86. So as you see, if you know the formula, which one to use, is better because you just need to formulate from that formula until you find the values so that is going to give us something like uh, 952,3608 yeah something like that so which is going to be 952,361 so it can be just 361 reps so these are the number of what of revolution so the question is calculating you to is asking you to give the number of revolutions not uh to write like refs per second no the number of revolutions how many revolutions are you going to have so someone might wonder where is this two pi coming from so the two pi there is the one that represents a complete revolution so is the revolution there divide uh divided by the complete revolution each complete revolution is equal to 2 pi radians so that's why you divide by by 2 pi so that's it guys from Mason African motives working on engineering science and for till we meet again